What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Loss and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. So, we are going to be talking about the few things that came out today in JP. So, as always, a big shout out to Roboloid and to Ryuji for their awesome, awesome translations. And before we jump into it, I do want to ask, what are you guys' thoughts on last week's Union Cross grind fest that we had to do? Because, yeah, the free gems and everything were nice. It definitely helps out with uh, leveling up our Keyblades, especially for new players as well. At the same time, though, the insane amount of coins that were needed to complete those boards was crazy. Like me, myself, <clears throat> I'm a JP player. My I JP main. I don't play global. Um, but the big difference with Union Cross between JP and global is the fact that JP only has two bonus times while global has four. So it was harder for me and probably a lot of other people who play JP um, to actually complete these boards because... Uh, one, both of those times are are in the morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and then at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So more than likely, there's not going to be a lot of people awake at 6 a.m. There's a better chance at 10 a.m. But in global, though, it's you guys have it four times, which I'm just like, I kind of wish we had that as well, because that would have helped me a lot because I work six days a week. So it would have been nice to been able to complete or do like those union cards to get those free gems because I wasn't able to complete them, but it would have been nice to have gotten those uh, or done some union cards bonus time, some extra ones, at least for the JP version, uh, similar to what global has as well. It definitely would have helped me a lot into completing these boards. But uh, let me know in the comment section below. What do you, how do you, how did you guys feel? How did you guys feel? How did you guys feel about the crazy amount of farming we had to do in Union Cross? So let's go ahead and uh, talk about some of the stuff for today's update. So for VIP players, uh, you get the following things. You get the Mummy Star Pets Avatar. I really wish they would have given this to everybody because this, I, f I feel like this being a, an exclusive or uh, VIP exclusive. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, I get it. Like, ooh, you know, uh, what, $13 in the JP and $15 in uh, Global. You get yourself a nice, awesome, like, special pet. But at the same time, though, since it is the month of Halloween, I feel like they could have easily put this in an event. Uh, make it not challenging, but, like, something for us to do to be able to get these free avatar parts. But this is behind VIP. So you do get the Mummy Star Pets avatar. You also get a copy of Superburst Graveyard and five trait medals. Five dual Meowas are here as well, so they changed it changed it back to five instead of the 15 that we've been having for like the past few weeks. And then 10 of each elemental gem and six Mickey and Brooms. <clears throat> uh, next thing we're gonna be talking about is this week's Union Cross. Now this, this week's Union Cross is actually lasting two weeks, and that's something I wish they could have done for uh, Union Cross this past week with all those gem gems and the Union Cross coins that we had to farm. So, uh, the return to Daybreak Town's graveyard uh, and get the Charity Blimp pet accessory in Union Cross, adorable little accessory for your pet. Uh, and then after that, I mean, aside from the Union Cross, really, the only thing that's left is that this week is an actual raid week. It's a luxury raid, uh, raid week. So, Battle the Demon Tide in this deluxe raid week and get a tie for your pet. <laughs> That's funny. Does it really look like a tie? That does kind of look like a tie. I don't know. Uh, but uh, anyway, so, so yeah, it is an actual raid week. So you know, get to raiding, guys. You know, do your thing. Coordinate with your party, etc., etc. Make sure to hit that Lux boost. And yeah, so on and so forth. And uh, I think there are jewels included in, in this week's. Uh, raid week, I am not 100% sure. Let me double check. Let me double check. Uh, let's see here. Yes, there is. Okay, so for the party brackets, uh, yes, there are jewels. So let's say from the parties ranking to 200 to 300, you get 100 jewels. Uh, top 10 parties get 3,000 jewels, and then so on and so forth. And in the solo brackets, you do get uh, gems, uh, power, speed, and gem, depending on which ranking it is that you go for. So good luck to everybody when it comes to raid week. And then finally, for the Moogle Chop uh, for this week for VIP players, the deals for that is strength plus 1,000, uh, 1,000 jewels, and you are able to get that three times max. You also got the defense traits, so you can get three times max, and then extra attack, you can only get it once. So good luck. Well, not really good luck, but uh, yeah, if you <laughs> if you want to get those trades, it's really up to you. They cost 1,000 jewels 
uh, for each of those three traits. And again, strength and defense, you can get up to three times extra attack only once. But uh, other than that, though, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Nothing too crazy. No events to do. It's just raid week. And then, yeah. <laughs> So maybe we'll see something Thursday. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But as always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for some future Union Cross updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.